Okay, welcome to my channel. This is World of Zap. I've got here on the bench, on the kitchen table bench, <laughs> I've got a ZWO electronic automatic focuser. This was dropped off a while ago from the postman. Thank you very much, Mr. Postman. And then I also picked up a, a clutch that will help if you forget to, if you power this down, and you got your, your, so you got your focuser all the way out and you power it down. And, well, this little clutch will actually slip. So you have a knob, so you can then turn your knob, well, it'll be on the other side, get it focused down, you know, be able to put it away without powering back up. But I do have some tests I'm going to run because I did get the hand controller. And that also came with, with temperature sensor, um, you know. So I've got all the little parts and doodads for it. We won't need the hand controller yet. We will not need the cable because we don't, temperature is my indoor temperature. And it is warm today. So for the grand opening, make sure I don't hit the camera anyway. Here we've got a manual. And da da, there it is, all in one. I do know that these cables are rather long, so I actually have on my wish list some shorter ones that may or may not be utilized on the scope later. We'll see, you know, how it goes. Uh, nice thing is, they did provide me with some tools, looks like. Got a couple of hex heads, wrenches, you know, some parts for getting it all lined up. They do have different size mounting hardware. So this is all in one. If you got like this Ascar 300, FRA 300, if you got something like that, you will make this work easily. It's, it's you know, basically almost plug and play. We are going to install this instead. So a couple test fits. I wanna make sure everything fits right. Uh, we'll take out the electronic focuser. This is the newer version, so it only needs the USB 2 to run power. And then the big thing is the way the focuser is, we gotta make sure that this fits just like a glove. I don't know if this has a, it does have a flat spot, so we're gonna make sure that that grub screw ends up on the flat spot. We we'll probably need, might put a little, I don't know if we can put a washer. We wanna make sure that it doesn't drag. So we want to make sure we're not just rubbing against it. So when we set it, we want a little gap. I'm going to clear this off. We won't need any of these. We will need the hardware. I went ahead and speeded up this part. It basically shows me fumbling with the uh, clutch. Yeah, because the clutch will not fit with the mounting bracket without some standoffs. And you'll see later on, uh, I'm going to add to this video or produce another video where you'll see where I put some standoffs in and raise that uh, mounting bracket up off so that the clutch would fit. I actually have this working now. All right, because I can't use this right away until I've come up with a solution i'm going to go ahead and use the the zwo i found the right size there is a flat spot to my focuser faster less annoying <laughs> so this has got a little hang to it we're going to go ahead and put that grub screw in there's another one on the side both of them are on the side Rotating everything. So 
like watching paint dry. And that's on fast. So that's it in a nutshell. I'm going to add my uh, dovetail back in and we'll call it good from there. Okay, so here we are, final setup. I found some standoffs, got me a couple bolts that fit, installed the uh, clutch. Right now it's, it's locked and then what you do is you go over here to unlock it. You would actually rotate this, loosen it up, and then you can actually turn. And then when you tighten it back up, it locks it back to the electronic focus motor. And, you know, you can't turn it. So that's it in a nutshell. Wanted to let you know that I actually finished it. And it's looking good. And you see over in the corner, oh, a little surprise. So anyway, we're good to go. And thanks for watching and peace.